You want to play the all-in-one modded one block mod pack. One block is one of the most popular Minecraft maps and with the all-in-one mod pack you will actually be able to play one block with mods. It adds in an entire like progression tree with all sorts of different stuff such as flatland, farmland, underground. You'll go through all of these different sort of you know areas or types of island if you will all the way to the end there and as you go along, you get different blocks in each face. It's, it's really, really cool, and it's a great way to add in additional mods on top of just the one block experience. So let's go ahead and show you how to install this. In order to install this, you are going to need CurseForge. To download the CurseForge launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. It goes over everything you need to know. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below but once you're here go ahead and click on the download curseforge button here to go to curseforge's official download page on this page you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that while this is downloading how to mess from our company simple game hosting you can check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to next place says sgh so your very own 24 hour all in one block modded server yes you heard that right you can add the all in one mod pack to your server and play the mod pack with your friends quickly and easily at simple game hosting literally in just a few clicks this mod pack will be up and running on your minecraft server and you'll be playing it with your friends plus should you have any issues along the way there's expert live chat support there to help you out and there are hundreds of other mod packs for you to play as well if you decide to move on from all in one modded one block so if you want to play minecraft with your friends do it the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh installing curseforge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy all you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here, as you can see it is for me. And then once you've found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on Next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports my creators, which is amazing. Love to see that and some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure standard is checked, and then click continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. Once everything is ready, you'll land on your My Mod Packs tab here. Up the top, there'll be a search bar where you can type in, in this case, All in One. And when you do, it will pull up All in One Modded One Block, except it doesn't. And because of that, I'm going to type modded one block as well and then it will go ahead and try to pull it up and it still doesn't so we can search here via all to mod packs and then scroll down and there it finally is unfortunately a little bit harder to find this again all in one modded one block is what we searched and then we filtered by mod packs here and then here it is all in one modded one block it is by natura spell if you want to double check that making sure you're getting the right thing and then go ahead and click the orange install button and it will go ahead and download and install the all in one modded one block mod pack if you go back to the my mod packs tab here we can see it installing but while it's doing that you may need to add more ram to curse words into your mod pack because often mod packs will need more ram than what is this supplied by default. To do that, you want to click in the bottom left here on this settings icon and then go to Minecraft. Then scroll all the way down and you'll be able to see your allocated memory. That's your RAM. I have 10,000 megabytes. That's overkill. For all in one modded one block, usually you need somewhere between 4,000 to 6,000 megabytes of RAM dedicated. So you would slide this down here to that. You can always have more RAM. Typically it's okay too. And it's also worth noting, never dedicate more than half of the RAM your computer has to Minecraft or a mod pack. But as you can see, all in one is now finished. We can go ahead and hover over this click play and now the minecraft launcher will open you'll need to log into the minecraft launcher and that's 100 percent safe to do because this is the default minecraft launcher that you typically play when you play minecraft it's just launched through curse wars instead of how you would typically launch it so 100 percent safe to log in once you log in you'll be on the home tab here select minecraft java edition on the left hand side and then click play and click play again to confirm you're playing modded minecraft now the all-in-one modded one block mod pack will open up and then from there you can join a simple game hosting server start a single player world it's pretty much up to you. I'll show you what that looks like. When you launch this mod pack, 
you may get a warning like this, you can just go ahead and say don't show again. And here we are in the mod pack. We can now go ahead and play single player or join a simple game hosting server, which I went ahead and set up and added to multiplayer here. So we can join this, our friends can join this, Anyone who you want to play on this server with you could join this. And once we're in game, we can play modded one block just like you would always play modded one block, which is break the first block, build out your inventory, expand your island around that block, so on and so forth. It's actually really cool. And we are in the sky and we are on the one block. So we can go ahead and break this and just continue breaking it until, well, we can't break it anymore. Um, yeah, cool stuff. We've got a, a dirt chest there. There we go. And yeah, that's that's modded one block, right? The difference being, you can already see there are some modded blocks popping through, including this right here, a dirt chest. So there you have it. That's how you can get the all-in-one modded one block mod pack. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.